To address this crisis, I place the entire country under a state of public health emergency. When President Rodrigo Roa Duterte declared the state of public health emergency, the need to protect the safety and health of the residents of Lano del Norte immediately pinned the heart and mind of Governor Emilda Anguin Quebranza de Moporo. Executive orders were then released to safe keep the province and its people from infection and prevent local transmission in accordance with the guidelines of the Interagency Task Force for Emerging Infectious Diseases and the Health Protocols of the Department of Health. Series of consultation and coordination meetings were conducted in the province together with the Department of Health, Department of the Interior and Local Government, Doctors to the Barrio, Municipal Health Officers, Municipal Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Offices, Private Medical Practitioners and Hospital Honors, Philippine National Police, Philippine Army, Civil Society Organizations, and all concerned offices to come up with a cohesive and responsive approach in the fight against COVID-19 pandemic and by participating in the regional IATF discussions and adopt measures viable in the province. With the large volume of swab specimen brought to Cagayan de Oro from other provinces for PCR tests, which takes three to five days to know the results, the need to create a COVID-19 testing laboratory in Lano del Norte for accessibility as well as provide real-time results for Governor and King always considers the essence of time, especially when dealing with this unseen enemy. Isolation units and quarantine facilities were then established and purchase of rapid test kits were given priority and thanks to the two congressional district offices of 1st District Representative Congressman Mohamed Kali Kibranza de Moporo and 2nd District Representative Congressman Abdullah Babi de Makota de Moporo for the unwavering assistance to the provincial government of Lano del Norte one by donating rapid test kits primarily intended for locally stranded individuals and returning overseas Filipinos who wish to be with their families in these challenging times. Rapid test kits are considered by the provincial chief executive as the vital tool and the first line of defense. The old Capatagan Provincial Hospital were immediately renovated and converted into an isolation unit, the first in the province, where suspected individuals showing symptoms of the COVID-19 were confined and taken care of by the dedicated medical staff who have voluntarily presented themselves to serve in the isolation unit of the provincial government of Blano del Norte. The influx of LSIs and ROFs pushed the governor in deciding to convert the rooms of the Mindanao Civic Center Stadium into a quarantine facility and have identified more to address this growing number. However, even with this development, Governor Anging still looking for ways to establish a COVID-19 testing laboratory. And when the Congress approved, the Bainihan grant to provinces as support to the call of President Duterte to help boost the effort of the provincial governors against COVID-19. It was an answered prayer for Governor Anging and without a doubt, immediately decided to utilize the fund diligently in the construction of a molecular biology laboratory at the old Capatagan Provincial Hospital. Municipality of Capatagan and the remaining were used to fund the other COVID-19 related activities. With the availability of financial resources, the provincial government tapped the expertise and knowledge of Dr. Nial Rana, the head of TBRC Northern Mindanao, to help in the preparation of a COVID-19 testing laboratory, from the design to training of personnel, as well as in the application of license to operate. The provincial government of Lano del Norte attentively listened and actively responded to the suggestions of Dr. Rana and have organized a series of consultative meetings with the Department of Health Region 10 under the supervision of Regional Director Dr. Adriano Subaan. Dr. Rana selflessly shared his expertise and knowledge to the medical staff that will be assigned to run the Molecular Biology Laboratory after all the hard work and dedication of all personnel to comply with the strict requirements 
for the license to operate the Department of Health Research Institute for Tropical Medicine approved the application after passing the flying colors and proficiency test for SARS-CoV-2 detection for the real-time PCR. With this success, it demonstrates that Governor Anging's strong leadership, sincerity, and dedication in serving the best interest of the people overcome the hardest and achieve even the unimaginable undertakings with the support of the Sangguniang Panalawigan, the Incident Management Team, and the PGLDN family, especially if it concerns the safety and health of the people of the province of Llano del Norte, the land of beauty and bounty.